We are on the hunt for the Yoshi egg. There's a Yoshi egg about, and we are Mario the Hunter. We need to actually spin jump correctly in order to get to where the thing is, but we can go over here. We can find the hunted and rare Yoshi egg, because we need to enslave the Yoshi's kind in a way. And that is exactly where we need to go. We need to go right here and collect this Yoshi egg from this Shadow Mario figure. Well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we began Peanut Park and found out that this little shadowy guy is actually Baby Bowser. Who da thunk it, you know? Who da thunk it was actually Baby Bowser. And also, who da thunk it? I don't even know if that's actually a big thing that's said, but anyways... Darn, and I was just about to ride that Yoshi too. Now, Yoshi needs a banana, but what I'm trying to say is... Welcome back to the Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Last episode, we started Peanut Park, found out that that guy was actually Baby Bowser. Now, why he's still Shadow Mario, that is not a pear. I mean, yes, it is a pear. I want a banana. And the bananas are right there. I just wasted a whole bunch of time by doing that. And also by talking to that guy, because that's something. But basically, what we need to do for this Yoshi thing is we actually need to bring Yoshi a fruit, and we hop on a Yoshi. You befriended Yoshi. Make him eat with B. And that is basically all you need to know about Yoshi. But there are a few things we can do with Yoshi. But what we're going to be doing now is that, remember when I said that we needed Yoshi for a certain mission in Rico Harbor? So, guess what? In this episode, we're actually going to be starting off by going into to Rico Harbor here and doing the last mission, mission number eight, that we can do in Rico Harbor. The reason I'm doing it right now is because it makes it so I don't have to worry about accidentally skipping this, I guess, so we don't have to be like, oh, finish Peanut Park, let's go to the next level, which technically, now that we have Yoshi, we are actually able to go to the next level. Because after you get the Yoshi thing, you're able to go to the one level that you need the big old pineapple because you saw that Yoshi eats fruit and he changes color and stuff and he can eat that pineapple in order to uh, devour and a thing and we can go to a certain area. Now, can I please thank you? Okay, there we go. That's all I wanted to do. I just kind of wanted the side flip because the area where we need to go is right over here where we need to continue finding a little bit of an area where we need to go on these actual... Bleh, bleh, bleh. We need to go on these fruit things, and for the love of God, can I please... Well, actually, for the love of God, can I get this on the first try? Which, if I actually got on here and ground pounded, I could try. Oh my God, I got it on the first try. Okay, that is really lucky. Because basically, what you have to do is you have to hit this until you get a durian. Because Yoshi will always want a durian. I don't know why. I'm not so sure. I believe sometimes Yoshi will want a different fruit depending on what you're doing. I mean, like, some missions are fruit-specific. Other missions, you have to cough and cut out the video, but the reason- actually, I know. The reason you want the durian is because what we can do here is we can actually spray these fish, and the fish will make a platform. When you are a purple Yoshi, the platform goes, like, vertic- not horizontally, I mean, like that. So, you kind of need the horizontal platform in order to actually make it over here, in a way. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long these platforms last, so you want to be kind of careful. So you want to go on here until you get to the one area. If you hold down A, you can do a kind of flutter jump. Well, no. If you hold down A, you can do a flutter jump. And also, the spin jump in this game is crazy. Now, what you want to do is you kind of want to actually eat one of these things up here, if I can actually get it. There we go. And you will turn pink. Now, Pink Yoshi has some benefits. These benefits being that we actually make platforms that go up now, because we kind of need that right now in our lives. We need a platform that can go up. Now, I believe I've actually known that you can do this whole mission without these platforms. Well, I am not going to be doing that, because I do not think I am skilled enough at jumping with Yoshi in order to do this mission, because I... I have actually seen, a, a, like, I believe it was a 100% run of this Let's Play, I mean, of this game, because I believe the 100% of this game is the only way you can actually do this kind of, in a way, if you think about it. Because I believe in any percent you don't do this mission, because why would you do Rico 8? I said it like a speedrunner right there. I don't know why you would do Rico Mission 8 if you're doing a, like, any percent, because you don't need it to actually beat the game, kind of, so... Basically, any percent, you know, just do the missions that you can in order to beat the game and get, like, enough shines, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. It's just you get enough and I forgot. I actually need to jump off of Yoshi here. Oh, okay. I believe it's... Oh, the, 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 the. It is the X button. That is what I'm trying to say. Now, I believe there is a way you can actually get Yoshi into this cage 
Because as you saw, ground pounding with Yoshi, I guess it's not a thing. Or wait, did I ground pound with Yoshi? I must not have. But all I know is there is a way you can glitch Yoshi into the thing. Or actually, no. If there's a way that you can glitch yourself on the Yoshi in order to get that. But there is a stupid little Shadow Mario there. Because you're going to be seeing that... Well, now that we are getting all of these Shadow Marios done, we actually unlock a whole bunch of crap in Isle Delfino, or Delfino Plaza, technically. And that being this stupid Shadow Mario stuff that we need to get the nozzles from, because as you see right there, that is... that the turbo nozzle? Yep, that is the turbo nozzle, not the rocket nozzle. I believe I showed off all the nozzles, because I actually... Wait, did I show off all the nozzles? I believe I think I did. I might not have, I am not sure. Okay, side flips are your friend. Now, can I just, like, super squirt you here? Yes, I can super squirt you. That is all I wanted to do. Now, can I see? Okay, where are you now? You are right there. And I accidentally did a hold the R button down squirt. And that kind of... <laughs> okay, that was a really fake laugh. But I find that really funny. I jumped and got the hover nozzle thing. Or the whatever nozzle rat. And I was just about to turbo dash, too. So basically, this actually, I already showed it what this nozzle does, but now we can actually go here and we can go on water, which we do a continuous rocket, which I never actually showed with this thing. But can we jump over here? Yes, we can. Okay. Yes, we can. And that thing's also moving now. But I actually kind of need to get another nozzle because I don't think, actually, no, I believe I can. No, I kind of want the hover nozzle. Because I believe now at this front area right here, we can go and we can go to these blocks and these well, boxes. And these boxes have all the nozzles. As you see, there is one nozzle we haven't got yet. But with how this game works, I believe after we do this one mission in... Uh, oh, God dang it, I can't talk. It is Peanut Park. That's what the level is. I, like, there's so many levels in this game, I'm kind of forgetting what the levels are anyways. After I do this one level in Peanut Park, I'm probably gonna have to get the last nozzle in Isle Delfino, Delfino Plaza. I cannot talk. I kind of thought I needed a little bit of water to help me, but the runaway Ferris wheel. Now, this level is kind of a lie, because the Ferris wheel isn't running away. It is staying pretty dormant, I will say that much. It is staying pretty dormant, and look, the Ferris wheel is perfectly fine. What the heck is this mission on? Also, if you want to know, what I do here is I always die first when you go into this level, because it is the fastest way you can get into the level. Because basically, you are already in water when you start, so if you dive automatically, what will happen is you get yourself really energized, and not like that, you just get water. Anyways, this level, this level is done really easy if you know exactly how you're supposed to do this. Now, I am actually not supposed to be going over here. There is actually another area where I need to go in order to get this done, and also not hit myself here. So, I believe what we want to do is we want to go around this way. We want to basically get ourselves up to the one area that we were up on in the previous episode when we were having a little bit of trouble getting the, uh, I believe it was the red coins of this level. <clears throat> oh my god, okay. That time it was my throat, actually. My throat was having a little bit of trouble getting crate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. I do not know exactly what happened there. I was trying to spin jump, but I guess it did a weird high jump or something like that. But anyways, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go behind the Ferris wheel and do a whole bunch of, like, tricky maneuvers and stuff in order to get to the top of the Ferris wheel. But they kind of underestimated the ability that you can just use your hover nozzle and go right through that and get right over to here. Yes, this is actually, like, this thing right here was actually the thing I saw first in this level. Like, I saw this before the actual correct way you're supposed to do this. And after seeing the correct way, I'm like, there is no point in doing the correct way. Why not just do the really fast way and get it done with? Because, you know, even Chugga Conroy did it this way. He's like a really professional Let's Player, you know? And that was also the only way I knew how to get up to the Ferris wheel. So I was like, I don't even know how to get it up, the, get up the other way. But then I found out that there's this cool little labyrinth we have at the back of the Ferris wheel. That I never checked out for myself. But now... Oh, God! You gotta be crapping me, buddy. Now, can I make it here? Ah! Oh, God, watch out for that. Make sure you jump at the right angle and not do that. Also, that... Yeah, come on. That was a really late reaction, but Jesus Christ, why is this happening? Why? Also, I think the water glitched out there for a second. That was weird. Let's get on the thing. God! 
Oh my god, finally! I made it on the freaking top of the ferris wheel because you need to get on top of the ferris wheel in order to get to the shine right here. There we go. Oh my Jesus grandmother Christ. Oh my god. That was one of the most stressful times I have had on that mission. I have never failed to get to the top of that ferris wheel as much as I did right there. And look, I knew exactly what was going to happen. I knew that Shadow Mario was going to be there after finishing the level, so you know what we need to do? We need to go and get that. You know, maybe recording at night was a bad idea. I, I don't know. It's not even skill-wise. I think it was basically just because it was being really cheap. Well, this game was being really cheap. And that's kind of what I don't like about this game at times. Okay, that time was kind of clearly my fault there. But sometimes this game can be a little annoying with how the game controls. But, uh, like, I don't know. The game controls really well, but once you get used to the controls, like, you can really do a lot of speedrunning tactics. Because let's say, like, this game compared to Super Mario Galaxy, this game is, like, really crazy with the speedrunning tactics. Because you can do a lot more crap in this game than, like, Super Mario Galaxy or 64 combined. I mean, Galaxy is the worst of them all. Because, like, it just, the platforming... Where are you? Where'd you go? Where, where, Shadow Mario? Uh, Shadow Mario, where are you? Where, 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 Shadow Mario, where are you? We got some work to do now. Please tell me you're somewhere around here because I don't know. There you are, okay. Now you're just gonna jump up there anyways, so why are you, actually no, he's not gonna jump up there. Okay, that's weird. I don't think I've ever had him come here though. It's usually what happens is like he goes to a certain area, like he goes all the way to like the lighthouse, but no, he's going somewhere, okay. Something I never got, he can swim in the water and not get hurt, like he's perfectly fine. But once you actually spray him with water, he is like fine. I don't, I, I do not know how that's a thing. Also, why are you going over here? I mean, it's like the weirdest thing ever. This guy is doing like the weirdest pattern I've ever seen in this game. I have never seen like him do that. Like, I, I don't even know. Anyways, we have finally unlocked all the nozzles in Delfino Plaza. I actually got it right this time. Oh my god. I can't believe I had actually got it right this time, and now, oh my god, this level can finally be, com well, I mean, it's not going to be completed in this episode, it's just, it gets really annoying, this game, because what happens exactly is that, uh, well, you're trying to complete Pina Park, and all of this crap happens at once, like cutscenes and stuff, getting all the nozzles in Delfino Plaza, and also gets a lot more sunny, but it's just, it's really weird how, like, they put all of this unlocking stuff in the middle of Pina Park. Because once you get Yoshi, if you have enough shines, you can get all the other ones. Because I believe you have to have, like, a certain amount of shines to get the other things. Also, the Yoshi go around secret, but you need a certain amount of shines to get to the other uh, levels, oh, in a way, or whatever. So, what I'm trying to say is that you need a certain amount of shines to act from, like, to actually get the nozzles. That is what I'm trying to say. You get a certain amount of shines, you unlock the nozzle. And since, well, uh... I have decided that I am actually not going to be doing that level in this episode, mostly because I just kind of want to stop recording right now, because I'm getting a little annoyed, and also my throat hurts from, like, getting kind of annoyed at the one level, and I was just not really feeling doing another secret level. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine, we will have a lot less annoyance, because we won't have to- we will not have to chase Shadow Mario three times in the episode. So, this has been Juddle Plays saying see you later, and goodbye for this pretty short episode. Sorry about that.